Hey everyone, and this is the fourth video in the series of Gunpla for Beginners. And what we've been doing is going over doing basically a snap build, but making it look as good as we can without having to worry about that paint, painting, and all that. You know, if you don't have the time, the space, or the money for a airbrush setup and things like that, you can still make a kit look really nice. Now, so far in the series, we've gone through nub removal, seam line removal, panel lining. And in this one, we're going to be doing decals. So, let's get this guy looking a little bit prettier than he already is. Let's get into it. Now, in this one, like I said, we'll be doing decals. And I will be showing you all some of these uh, basic sticker decals that come with the Bandai kits. But I'm also going to be doing water slide decals. And I urge you to try water slides. It's not that hard. It's nothing to really be worried about as long as you take your time. And I will be going over that in this as well. Because they will look so much better in the end. Especially in our next video when we clear coat the kits. Which will be our last video. And that will help protect everything and have everything looking really nice. But I will put a few of these on for demonstration purposes. But if you're able to, I say get some water decals. But if not, these will work just as fine. Do work with what you got. And speaking of the water slide decals, we have these here. We'll be cutting these out and everything. And you're going to need some tools for this process as well. Of course, you will always need a hobby knife. We'll be using this to cut the water slides out because they don't peel off or anything like that or come seg seg bleh, segmented at all. So you'll be cutting them to shape and taking them out of the paper. You'll also want Q-tips for application. I have two different types here. You really only need one, and I'd recommend having these, but I have both kind, and I like using these to place the water slide decal, and this to kind of smooth it out and make sure there's no air bubbles underneath it or anything. Now, this is something else you don't have to have, but does come in quite handy, and I'll show you how to use this in a little bit, but it helps your water decals and everything adhere much better. You don't need to use this for sticker decals. This is only for the water slides. And then also for your water slides, we will be using a, a basin, some sort of vessel or whatever, to put water in. Now, don't use a cup or anything because the water slide, you're going to drop it in there. And if you're using a cup, it's going to sink to the bottom. And you don't want to try and fish that out. You'll end up losing the decal in there. It'll slide off the paper. So you'll use something that's fairly shallow. And when it comes time, we'll add a little water in there. And then one of the most important ones for this is tweezers. You always want something good. These are some Tamiya ones I believe I got off of Amazon. Couldn't tell you how much they were, but you can find a good set of tweezers at any hobby shop or hobby lobby or anything like that. But these are very nice. They work really well. We'll be using those as well. Oh, and also with the water slide decals I'm using, and if you're using the Bandai sticker decals, you will want your instruction manual as it gives you the placement for all the decals on here where you'll be putting everything. Now, if you're doing the water slides, a lot of times you will still want this because these are made for this kit particular and they are all numbered accordingly along like with the Bandai stickers here. So the numbers on here will usually correspond with the these sets right here. So they're interchangeable, which is very nice, makes things much simpler. Now I will warn you, it doesn't always work that way. I have put the wrong decal on a spot because it wasn't exactly the same number for the water slides. So always make sure you double check. It's kind of like the rule, measure twice, cut once. But that's basically all we're going to be using for this. Alright, now you see here I went ahead and pulled off the legs here. I figured these would be what we'll use for this demonstration and everything. And we'll start off by using the uh, Bandai sticker decals that the kit comes with. And we'll see here, where can I find the legs on this little manual here? Alright, so we're doing the inside of the legs. So we're going to do a couple that go right here in this area. And they are going to be number, let me see here. It's like 29 and 30. So you just simply find them here on this. Oh, they're down here on the bottom. 29 here. And this little straight edge will be going up here in the corner, so we'll just pull 30 or 29 off of here. All right, now we got that sucker pulled off of there. It's basically pretty straightforward. Like I said, they're sticker decals, so you just get it lined up to where you want it. Might take you a minute to make sure you get it straight. Once you get everything lined up, just simply gently run your thumb around it and you can press it down. Get it all on there nice. 
Now one thing is nice if, with these if you're doing these and there's a little bit of overhang and you're trying to get your sticker placed and there's a little bit of the clear part that overhangs, you can simply take your uh, hobby knife and just gently just set it on the edge of the piece and run it across and as long as you have a good sharp blade it will shave off that extra hanging off and you don't have to worry about that junk and everything if you're needing to kind of move it around have a little bit of that clear extra hanging off of there. So we'll do the next one that goes right here in the same spot and it kind of wraps around and goes underneath this little space. It's easier to kind of get one in, in place and kind of pull and straighten this out of where you need it. Alright, there's that for the most part. Now you can see, hopefully, i pull this little knee piece off here. Get it out of the way for the moment. Now, I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but you can see a little bit of that clear part of the decal overhanging there, like I said a moment ago. Make sure you got the... Just run your fingers across, make sure you got all those little air bubbles out. There's a couple left there. And you can simply just rest your blade on there. And nice as long as it's a sharp one, just don't even have to really put any pressure or anything like that. It shaves it right off. Clean that little edge up a bit there. Now here you can see, now you can see is how these sticker ones kind of lay down. Let's see if we can do a couple more here. What other spot can we do on this? This is pretty straightforward. This goes right here in the center. Now I don't know how well the camera will show this for you or not. But the bad thing about when you're doing these sort of sticker decals, you see that extra, the clear area of the sticker. It doesn't show really all that much on white parts, but when it comes to any colored parts, you can always see the outline of it right in through there. And that is one thing that I don't care much for, but like I said, if this is what you got to work with and everything, it's not that big of a deal. Plus, once you clear coat it, that will help hide some of that as well. So, so like I said, sticker decals, pretty straightforward and simple. Just take your time, pay attention to where the directions tell you to put them, and just get your placement set pretty well. And of course, always avoid trying to touch the back side of the sticker, because the oils in your skin will mess with the glue, and it just won't stick as well. And they'll end up coming off and all that stuff, so that's never any fun. So now let's kind of get things set up and I'll show you how to do some water slides on it. We'll do the same ones here, the ones on the side of the leg, then maybe a couple more, and then we'll go from there. Alright, now we're going to do the water slides. We're going to do the same two like we did here on this leg for the sticker decals, just on the opposite leg of course. So first we'll have to cut them out. Now since we're doing the opposite leg, it'll be the opposite numbers instead of 29 and 30, which is what we use on the other leg for the sticker decals. You see here they're the same, just numbered on here. We'll be doing 31 and 32. So we'll start off with 31 here and we'll get, this is where you use your hobby knife when you actually have to cut these out. You'll just get a general outline of it, just get a good shape around it. All right, now that you got the decal you're wanting to set, cut out, all you just simply do is drop it in the water. We've already got poured here, it's kind of submerged it there, and you want to leave it for about 10 to 20 seconds, depending on the maker of the decals. 20 seconds is usually more than plenty, and this should slide out to see easy as it can be. If you do it a little too early, they don't want to quite let go of the paper, and you'll have trouble and be fighting with it. So we got that one cut out. We'll set that here, and I got a couple of my Q-tips here. And like I said, this is the kind of Q-tip you definitely want to have to use. These are just a preference for me. I use them for other things as well, but they come in handy for this. They're a bit stiffer and harder on the ends. They're kind of nice to slide off the uh, decal without yet. They're still somewhat soft, so they're not very obtrusive. You know, I'm very harsh on the decal, so I don't have to worry about tearing it quite so much. All right, that should have been sitting long enough. Let's see if we can fish it out of here. Oh, actually, before I do that, I almost forgot. If you are using some of this stuff, the Mark Fit, like I said, it's not a necessity. You don't have to have it, but it is nice and helps your decal stay on there. It helps them adhere much better, which is good until, you know, because they can be kind of delicate after you put them on and even after they dry until you can get a top coat over it to help protect it, which is, like I said, what we'll do in the next video, top coating the kit, and that'll be pretty much the end product. But this stuff is very easy to use. You just kind of take it and has a brush applicator and you'll just kind of put it on where that decal is going to sit and brush some on there which this is also nice because it gives you 
a little more fluid on the part there to help it float around a little bit so you can get it in place which I'll show you what I mean here in just a moment and we got our decal here and I'm gonna use this q-tip and just try and gently slide it right off into the general vicinity of where I need this height. Hey guys, this is future me here and as I was editing this video I realized that there was no good angle for y'all to see me actually removing the water slide decal from the paper onto the part and I didn't want to half-ass a tutorial and not let y'all see that so this is interrupting your scheduled video right now for this or it's got your tweezers and water slide decal right here and it's very simple really just take your q-tip or whatever else you might be using and you just simply slide it off hence the name water slide decals that's pretty much it I just want to show y'all getting that off the paper and onto the part real quick oh another trick if you got a part that's not wanting to sit still for you while you're trying to do something stick tack she won't go nowhere on you but back to your regular scheduled video I says take your time we're in no rush you got time it's not like once you put it on there it's not it's stuck there forever because you do have time to kind of sit here and play with it a little bit to get it exactly where you want it and these are supposed to run around the edge of this part I guess move one end up the other end comes down let me get in the center here All right, now once you got it right where you want it, you want to take your Q-tip and start from the center of the decal and lightly roll outwards from it. This helps to get any bubbles out, and if it shifts on you a little bit, not a big deal, like it just did there on me. And you can kind of just nudge it back into place. I said just lightly, and it'll soak up all that extra water and that other solution that we placed down the mark fit and so I don't chance that moving around too much on me right now I'm gonna let that one kind of sit and dry in that spot before I put the other one that goes underneath it so until while well, that sets for a moment we'll do another spot on here and actually I got some special decals I want to put a different type run down the side right here I think so let me get those out and I'll be right back all right now this is another set of just random decals these are from a uh, USA Gundam this is one of their sets they sell and these are just random caution stick markings and things of that such there's nothing in too particular these can be used for any kit and these I believe are for of course 144 scale and I also have some there for master grade 1 100 scale kits as well so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one and I'm going to place it down here around the bottom of the leg here just for just for a good show all right now just like the other one now we got it cut out we'll set it in the water here and let it sit for about 10 to 20 seconds if I remember right this this particular brand, they don't take very long at all. And it does, sucker doesn't want to sink. There it goes. Yeah, we're going to place that one running right across here. So while that sits, oopsie, and then of course I drop it in there. Hopefully the, ah, the decal stayed on. Sometimes if you're not careful, the decal can slide off of the paper in the water. And then you have to go fishing. And be very careful. That's only happened to me once, and it was an absolute pain. Get that off there and on the part. All right. And then once again, just take your time and get it placed how you want it. And like before, simply just kind of start from the center. Oh, see, it shifted on me a little bit there, so you gotta be careful. Like I said, lightly, just lightly roll it out. And then you have a nice warning label there. And that's pretty much all it is to water slides. Like I said, they're not very complicated in the long run. And actually, before we go, we'll do that one again real quick, and then I can show you a comparison between the two different styles of decals. All right, now they've got these other two on here. You can kind of get the comparison of these. This here, of course, is the sticker decals on the side and then we also have the water slides on this side and you can probably see a difference at least I hope you can with the camera how much they just look cleaner there's not that extra clear bit hanging off and they're not they're really not complicated to put on you just got to take your time and be patient and in the end you'll like the look of it a whole lot better trust me 
Alright, so in the end, that's really all there is to doing, you know, sticker decals or water slides for the most part. And if all you can do is the sticker decals, there's not a thing wrong with that. As long as you're having fun and enjoying yourself as you build your kit. This is your build. You do it however you like. So like when it comes to water slides or the sticker decals, place as many as you want on your kit or as few. Or if you don't want any, you don't have to put any on your kits. That's the one thing about Gunpla, is it's all freedom. We all get to enjoy it how we want to. I mean, you're the one buying the kit and everything and doing all the work, so might as well make it how you want it. So in the next video, we will go over uh, clear coating the whole kit. And it's not that complicated. And like I said, I know, beginning, you know, you're not supposed to, this is for people that don't have a paint booth or spray gun or anything like that. This is gonna be very simple. We'll be using just a can of uh, Tamiya flat uh, primer, or not primer, dear Lord, flat coat. And we'll just be doing parts at a time. And that will help protect your decals and your water slides and all your panel line that you've done so far. And it'll kind of take away that plasticky sort of toy look to it. But that'll be in the next video and I'll show you how to go about all of that. But until then guys, I'll talk to y'all later.